What's good, Washington fans? I mean, nothing's good right now. Um, but we're just a bad team. That's why I'm not even mad right now. I'm not upset because I, I can just tell there's so many ways we can lose a game. We have we can have momentum on our side. We still find ways to lose the game. Of course, we blew it. We 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 blew it. You know, pun intended. You know, everybody gets jokes off on Chris Blewett. Chris Blewett is not that guy. I mean, Ron Rivera just hired him. You know, he was working at Home Depot. He was an assistant teacher. He was an assistant athletic trainer or something like that. Um, you know, he was um, doing um, warehouse work and stuff like that at night, uh, moving boxes and whatnot. And no, no knock on that. You know, getting a job, having a job is a job. But it just tells you where this guy was. I mean, he did not. This was his, the game against Green Bay was his first kick in the NFL. He graduated in 2016 from Pittsburgh. So he's been out of football for far, four or five years. He kicked in the preseason, too, but he never kicked in a real regular season game. In a regular season, this man got two kicks blocked today. A, 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 a kick block against the Packers. When does that even happen? A block kick is supposed to be so rare. It's something that you don't see every game, and now we're seeing it every game. It's inexcusable. Now, Dustin Hopkins, I didn't like Dustin Hopkins. I'm happy that he did get released. I thought he earned the release because he was awful against the Falcons with the two missed extra points. He missed the field goal against the Giants where we got bailed out by that offsides. And then he missed a kick against the Chiefs as well. And then he was, Dustin Hopkins was awful in the preseason. And then Dustin Hopkins was pretty darn bad last year where he cost his games against the Giants and the Seahawks with missing field goals and extra points. And then, of course, everybody remembers the Monday game. So Dustin Hopkins needed to go. The thing is, Ron Rivera should have been let Dustin Hopkins go. He should have been let Dustin Hopkins go in the offseason. He should have been gone. We should have been looking at kickers, uh, scouting kickers, all kinds of stuff. The, the YouTube kicker, I don't care who it is. We should have been scouting whoever we could find. Ron Rivera is just, he's just slowing behind the eight ball and everything. He's just, he, he just has that, that stubborn elderly man mentality. And that's just what's going to lose his games. Him being, he is the GM. He's the general manager. You know, Marty, Marty Herney and, and uh, what's his name? The other guy, uh, Martin Mayhew, they might have the title, but we all know this is a coach centric organization right now. This is a co coach centric uh, team right now. He is the general manager, position flex, all that stuff. He wants to sign guys with position flow. That's, that's his main thing. And this guy, Chris Blue, can't do anything. Um, Scotty Turner, he was bad today. Uh, Heidi, he had his moments and he he didn't finish well as, as he didn't finish well at all. I think the the throwing the ball out of the back of the end zone was just that might be the last straw on Taylor Heidi. Yeah, I think and I, I don't want to I don't want to put Kyle Allen is not gonna change anything. He's not gonna move the needle. We're not gonna win games because Kyle, we're not beating the Buccaneers. I don't care which quarterback we play, it can be Fitz. Heineke, uh, Kyle Allen, we're not beating the Buccaneers. Uh, we all know that. That's not. This, this is not gonna really gonna change anything. In my opinion, Heineke has had his good moments, and he's had his bad moments. I would rather. I would just let Heineke play the rest of the season because we're not going anywhere anywhere fast. And you know, people saying tank, 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 tank. Let's let's tank. We're not tanking. We're just not a good team. We're not gonna beat this team. I had us losing twenty three to twenty. We ended up losing seventeen to ten. The Broncos are so bad. They gave us another chance to come back and win this game. And we still don't take advantage of the opportunity. Chase Young forces a fumble, and they threw an uh, incomplete pass on second down. That, that was the most boneheaded last minute of a game I've ever seen from, from two teams, to be honest with you. From two teams. The Broncos are so bad. They're just as bad as us. And it was really the who who, are, who is less trash is going to win today. That's basically who won. Which team can be less trash? Which team can make the, make the least amount of mistakes? We'll win this football game. And that's basically what it came down to. Bobby McCain in the beginning of the game, in the game dropping that interception, that was just awful. Things like that just show how bad of a team we are. We just don't take advantage of opportunities like that. Chase Young on that third down, slowing down. I didn't really get to see much of the play, but I heard he slowed down. Didn't uh, didn't keep rushing the passer on Teddy Bridgewater. Could have had a sack. I got to look at that play again. Teams like plays like that are, are, are game losing plays. Third down, we still can't get stops. Still can't get stops. Um, let, let, let's let's get to my notes here, man. So in the first half, Scott Turner on fourth and one. We throw the ball behind the sticks to Ricky Silver Jones. That was just a terrible play call by Scott Turner. It was so bad. It, it, it's just hard to watch. It really is. Um, run the freaking ball, man. Jared Patterson was doing a good job. Antonio Gibson in the mix as well. Jaden McKissick running the football well. Catching the ball out of the backfield. Fourth and one. You're just soft. You're just soft. That's what it is. That's any, there's no way around it. You're just soft, Scott. You're just soft. You don't throw. You don't run the football on fourth and one when you've been smashing it down their throats the whole time. That's all I got to say. It's soft. You're just soft. 
throw the ball behind the sticks, and, and, and the Scott Turner defenders are going to come out and be like, oh, look at the film. Ricky was wide up. I don't give a crap. Do what's working. Do, what's, do what got you down the field. Jared Patterson, I told him, I was like, please give the ball to Jared Patterson. Let this man run. Let this man do his thing, man. Please let him loose. You saw what the Browns did with a third string, fourth string running back against the Broncos defense. Why can't Jared Patterson do the same? And Jared Patterson started doing the same things. That's what I love. That, that's the only compliment I can really give Scott Turner. Inside the 20, Scott is really good. But when it gets to fourth down and crunch time, when you really need a big play, Scott is nowhere to be found on the play call. He's just making a bonehead decision. Uh, I thought Jaden McKissick had a solid game today. A couple of good catches here and there. Um, I thought he was really good. I, I can say nothing bad about Jaden McKissick. He's just been a great player. This whole season, last year he was too. Uh, Montez Sweat had an offsides. I wrote that down. Uh, Bobby McCain with a terrible drop interception. Um, James Smith Williams got a sack. Congrats to him for his first sack on the season. Uh, Ron Rivera made a challenge on uh, the JD McKissick play where he got the first down. He won the challenge. Sadiq Charles had a rough day today. Um, this was his first start. Cornelius Lucas was had an illness. And then, of course, Sam Cosme is out as well. So Sadiq Charles had to start today. Just not a great day from Sadiq. I think he had a holding penalty as well and gave up a couple of sacks, two sacks today. Um, field goal block. I wrote that in my notes today. That was just awful from uh, Chris Blewett. You know, this is not this is not the this is not the Broncos making good plays. This is this is on the kicker just being bad. This is what it is. I'm not giving any credit to the Broncos on that block kick. It's on Chris Blewett, man. He blew it. No uh, pun intended, I guess. You know, uh, Melvin Gordon had a touchdown on Khalid Hudson where he just you know he made a good move and ran past and was just uh, faster than Khalid Hudson. He just made a move on Khalid Hudson, Hudson and scored. Uh, DeAndre Carter had a drop, but DeAndre Carter made a hell of a catch. That was a great catch by DeAndre Carter. Oh, my gosh. That was a great catch. Credit to him. I thought he's, I think he's had a good season all around. Kick returner, punt returner. Being a wide receiver, he's had to step up with, with uh, Curtis Samuel not playing. Curtis Samuel, they might as well put him on injury reserve and just sit him out for the rest of the year. Diami not playing. Cam Sims not being available much. Uh, I got to give a shout-out to DeAndre Carter, man. He's played well, man. He's been one of the bright spots of this season. And he's, he hasn't even really put up big numbers, but he's just been available and has done good things. Landon Collins, I got to give him his credit, man. We've been bashing him so much. Finally moved to linebacker. He was defiant and didn't want to do that. Got offended with, with reporters and the media. Whenever you comment on Instagram and Twitter and say, hey, you should move to linebacker. You're a box safety. He gets very, very sensitive and, and fights back. But, hey, you're playing well. I mean, he had a sack, got in the backfield, made a tackle for loss. Like what I saw from Landon Collins. I, I'm, I'm give, see, I give credit when, when guys deserve it, man. And I bash guys when guys deserve it, man. I'm just going to be honest and objective here. Made a big, he made a big third down stop. Shout out to Landon Collins, man. He played, he played his butt off today. I thought Ben St. Juice was good today. He has a, he makes a, a couple of good tackles. I thought Montez Sweat was solid today, too. Wrote that down in my notes. John Allen had a good day today, too. C had a couple of pressures. I don't think he got a sack. I gotta look that up. I think he did get at least one sack. Um now I do give credit to Scott Durner on this one drive. Um running the ball with Jared Patterson and then the DeAndre Carter catch. I thought that was a good solid drive by Scott Turner. So I'm, I give him credit on that. But sometimes when and we scored that, we weren't inside the 20s. When it gets into the red zone, it just tightens up. Scott tightens up, man. Um, not in a good way. Jamin Davis had a rough in the passer. I thought that was very debatable and questionable. Um, Jamin Davis was a – I, I got to watch the film and see how he really did. I thought he was a little quiet. In my, he didn't pop on screen. Uh, we did get a sack. Teddy Bridgewater fell. His own center – he fell into his own center. His own center back into him, and Teddy Brid Bridgewater fell. That's what I would say. They were trying to give us the football game. They really were. They were trying to give us the football game. The Broncos missed their own field goal, 53-yard field goal. They missed it. They were trying to give us the game. They really were. They were trying to lose that game as much as possible. Um, missed pass interference on Dax Milne. I thought they missed the pass interference on the, on the drive down. Um, they also missed the pass interference on the Hail Mary. Kyle Fuller grabbed and pushed Cam Sims out the way, but they're not going to give us that call. It is what it is on that. I just know they're not going to give us that call. Um, the last drive of the game before 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 the Broncos got the stop and, and got the football and fumbled it, it was second and six and – Scott Turner called a play for Terry McLaurin. It was like a, um, I forgot what kind of play it's called, but it wasn't a screen, but basically a screen. He called the, he, uh, Shell Hunting threw it to the right, Terry McLaurin got it, and then the guy, just, Justin Simmons saw it easily and just tackled him. I thought it was a pretty poor play call on that call there on second down. Um, then we, then Taylor Heineke got sacked when we got the ball back. He got sacked. You know, he did step up into a sack, but the offensive line is like third string, second string guys. Chase Rue was carted off. Eric Flowers with an injury. Offensive line is banged up now. Sam Cosby, I don't know when he's going to be back. Brandon Sheriff, we don't know when he's going to be back. Uh, Danny Johnson did get burnt a couple times by Jerry Judy, but I, I like I like Danny Johnson better than, than um, William Jackson, to be honest with you. I thought he's, I thought he's played better than William Jackson. Uh, Cam Curl, um, 
Not much. Didn't didn't do too much today. It wasn't awful. Wasn't good either. Um, Cole Holcomb, same thing. I thought he, I saw him get um, ran over by Javante Williams a couple times. Mel, Melvin Garnett, Gordon had a good day running the football. He had a couple first downs here and there. Um, but Heineke, yeah, Chase Young finally forced a fumble. He did make an impact on the game, but uh, with that, but other than that, he just wasn't getting to the uh, getting rushing the passer and really uh, getting quarterback hurries. He did. There was a lot of times where I did see him doing that same thing where he's rushing upfield and almost rushing to the point where he's out of the camera view where he's just going upfield and the quarterback's like right here upfield and Chase Young's going all the way up here. So um, that's just my observation on Chase Young, man. The numbers aren't there. The sack numbers aren't there. The pressures are kind of there, I think. But he, he's just not getting to the quarterback, man. Let's go, let's go to the stats here and then we'll get up out of here. Uh, Taylor Heineke, 24 for 39, 270 yards. One touchdown, two picks. Both picks were on Hail Marys. So I'm not... I don't think Taylor Heineke was, was awful, but the last play was just terrible. That's inexcusable. It's just... Boneheaded plays, man. He's made some boneheaded plays the last couple of games. He got sacked five times. Um, 69.4 quarterback rating. Jared Patterson had a solid day running the football. 11 carries for 46 yards. I want to see more from Jared Patterson. I want to see him run the football more. Uh, Antonio Gibson, eight carries for 34 yards. It's just the, the stress fracture in the shin. He's not going to have a big game. I don't see it happening. Terry McLaurin, one rush for 12 yards. Terry McLaurin had a quiet day today. Uh, Taylor Heineken had one carry for 10 yards. J.D. McKissick, three carries for 10 yards. J.D. McKissick, eight catches for 83 yards. Grown man game for J.D. McKissick. DeAndre Carter, three carries for 51 yards and a tub and a touchdown. He played well, man. I like what he saw. Adam Humphreys gave some good, had a good catch today, too. Dax Mill had a good catch today, too. One catch for 22 yards. Cam Sims had a good catch for uh, 20 yards as well. Um, trying to think what else. Cole Holcomb led the team in tackles with nine tackles. Uh, Landon Collins had two tackles for, lot, for loss and a sack, man. I got I to gotta give him credit, man. Landon Collins had a great game today. He really did. Um... Let's look at the other side. Teddy Bridgewater, let's look at his numbers, and then we'll probably end right here. 19 for 26, 213 yards, one touchdown, no picks. We had four sacks today, so I thought the D-line did a solid job today. But uh, Teddy Bridgewater had a Teddy Bridgewater game. It's just a game manager. He had a game manager game. That's what he did. Just managed the game. Um, not a lot of yards for Jerry Judy. Not a, large, a lot of yards for Tim Patrick either, but they got first downs when they needed it. And then on third downs, we were we we gave up seven out of thirteen, so that's pretty bad as well. That's that's over fifty percent. We are dead last in uh, third downs defensive. We're dead last, and then we're awful offensively on third downs. Five for fourteen, one for five on fourth downs, and zero for two in the red zone. So when it's when it's when it's fourth down and it's the red zone, we are just awful. We're terrible. We're abysmal. But I did watch some Sam Howell, and I liked what I saw from Sam Howell. He did throw some interceptions, but the guy is very mobile, and he did lose a lot of his receivers. De'Ami Brown is with us now, and then he lost uh, Daz Newsome. Uh, a couple of, a couple of his running backs went to the NFL as well. So uh, I like what I saw against Notre Dame. I really do. I like the mobility, mobility and the toughness that he showed in the pocket and just moving around. He made some good throws too. Uh, didn't get a chance to watch a little bit of Desmond Ritter this weekend. Uh, Malik Willis just played a bad team, and he he blew them out. I just don't trust the coaching staff with Malik Willis. You got to build. You got to do what you do with Lamar Jackson with Malik Willis. That's what you got to do. I don't trust this offensive coordinator, and I don't trust the staff to really develop Malik Willis. Uh, Matt Corral saw them lose. I like what I've seen from him earlier this season. I didn't really get to watch the game this weekend, but um, that's just some quarterback talk there. Um, Kenny Pickett, they lost, but he broke a record for throwing 500 yards against uh, Miami. Miami, they did. They had a good game, game plan for Kenny Pickett. They did. They had, they, they had a good game. He still moved the ball up and down the field, but when they needed stops, they got stops on Kenny Pickett. I like Kenny Pickett, too. Um, everybody's saying this quarterback draft class is trash. I, I, I disagree with that. I think it, 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 this, this draft class is going to fall on your coaching staff, your organization, and your developmental system. That's all I'm going to say about this coaching, about this draft class. If you have a strong foundation, and a strong coach that can develop a young quarterback and not just have, you know, Ron Rivera had Cam Newton fall into his laps. So fall into his laps. So we haven't really seen Ron Rivera develop a quarterback that you, that actually needs work to develop. Cam Newton was going to be good regardless of where he went, to be honest with you. So, all right, you guys, let me know what you guys think. Hell to the football team. Have a good weekend. Hope you guys enjoy your Halloween as well. Peace.